is a platform where a lot of learning takes place over and above the academics. A wellness session named Virtue Circle is conducted every month for the teachers of Station Road Campus wherein virtues like flexibility, optimism, friendship, forgiveness, commitment, cooperation, etc. are discussed. Our bold and beautiful achievers, the outcome of CMS Holistic Development Education are Atharv and Harim Fatima of Montessori section now hold the V-Mart Little Superstar title. Manu Agrawal clicked the winning picture in Clean Air Project competition. Stuti Sahu is our winning artist among many who participated in the Crocodile Canvas organized by Lucknow Zoo. At the Hindi essay writing competition organized by Bharatiya Bhasha Pratishthan Rashtriya Parishad Uttar Pradesh, Kartikeya Raghuvanshi is our writer on the go both at school and city level competitions. Anubhav Sharma is the young writer. In a series of competitions organized during the Groundwater Week by the Regional Science City Lucknow in collaboration with Groundwater Department Uttar Pradesh Lucknow, Anya Rawat emerged as the painter while Enzla Fatima and Aruna Vaish were declared first and second prize winners of collage competition. Ayesha Faisal of kindergarten won the second runner-up position in the elocution contest organized by City International School, Malaganj. Stuti Sahu is both silver medal winner at the sub-junior category of ASISC Regional Drawing and Painting Competition. She also won the first prize at the zonal level in the sub-junior category. Vidushi Singh was declared first in the junior category. Anya Rawat is the artist declared in the art competition Literati held at Horner College, Lucknow. Manu Agrawal was declared photographer par excellence while Rhythm Yadav painted a lovely poster thereby winning prizes in the International Vulture Awareness Day competitions organized by Wildlife Sciences Lucknow University in collaboration with Uttar Pradesh State Diversity Board. Poet to reckon is Divyanshi Rawat. Her poems are published in books like Winter and the Pink Summer. The wildlife enthusiasts Kindil Sharma, Ibad Raisul, Shaurya Agrawal, Tasmiha Fatima and Smita Soni have bagged a whole lot of prizes at the Wildlife Week organized by the Institute of Wildlife Sciences, University of Lucknow. Young wonders Priyanshi Pant, Samiksha Yadav, Ishanvi Agrawal, Ishi Pal and Ansh Yadav are declared Wonder Kid 2022 at the 12th national level inter-school competition. Little ones like Mohammad Sadan, Pratishtha Sharma, Prakrit Rai, Vanya Hussain and Simra Ansar showed their medal winning the first special mention prize in the event Readography at the 9th Literary Fest organized by CMS Innovation Wing while Class 1 students won third prize in elocution event LMI. At the Computon 2022, a national junior level computer literacy competition organized by Cyber Learning, the campus made a hat trick. Alia Riyaz, gold medalist, Udhav Tiwari, silver medalist, Jigisha Mishra, Anshuman Prakash, Shivansh Pant, Arnav Shukla, Shushant Shukla, Anjanay, and Achyut Bajpayee were all declared rank holders. Our merit holder, Brain O Brain Wonder Kids, are Priyanshi Pan, Samiksha Yadav, Yashwarya Shri Rawat, Akhlaq Ahmed, and Anubhav Sharma. Math Viz Kit Udbhav Tiwari won bronze medal in the International Mathematics and Science Olympiad IMSO hosted in Indonesia. Here is a snapshot view of fun and learn activities held at the three day 14 Kids Bonanza for pre primary children. Around 44 schools had participated. Dear friends, Principal, staff and students at CMS Station Road Campus integrate home, school and society for children to become conscious subjects of their own growth, together with them becoming the active and responsible participants in building a community. As euphoria of FIFA World Cup 2022 dims down, making many tectonic shifts in terms of the collapsing of old citadels and emergence of new teams and fresh talents, the sports helped world unite hearts as one, overcoming international boundaries. Friends, welcome to International Concord, organized by City Montessori School, Station Road Campus for building new bridges of understanding. 
the first of now 21 CMS campuses, Station Road campus, in its 63 years under the principalship of its illustrious principals from Dr. Bharati Gandhi to now Mrs. Dipali Gautam. The campus has steadily worked hard for the all-round development of students, keeping the standard up and onwards. The campus organizes one more international event, the International Youth Convention on Commerce and Economics, which will be held next year. If the vision is glorious, the walk is victorious. If the football team of the campus is ready for the league matches, students of the campus have proved their mettle in many other sports. Hamad Afsar is our Roll Ball Champion in the competition 14 Sub Junior Uttar Pradesh Roll Ball Championship for Boys and Girls held in Varanasi. Mohammad Azan Khan is a skater on the go at the second roller skating competition. He clinched medals in 300 meter race and in the 200 meter one. Manika Singh Yadav is the skater and the winner of the ASISC Zonal Under 14 Girls category. We are the campus of Taekwondo enthusiasts and at the CISC Zonal Taekwondo Championship, Shanjali, Himani Singh, Sharanya, Mahika Gupta, Rachit, Ayush, Aviral Rajpal, Aditya Agrawal and Aishwarya Vaish won the gold, whereas Manika Yadav, Palak, Tanmay and Akarshit Kashyap won silver medals. Liba Amna, Aditya Agrawal, Anshika Singh are the medal winners at the 15th National Open Taekwondo Championship. On the occasion of International Day of Sports for Development and Peace, an inter-house chess competition was held for the students of junior section. The school has a competitive yoga team. Achit Bajpayee backed the third position in the Yog Sangam and inter-school virtual yoga conference. Rafat Abasi, Pragya Tiwari, Shiva Yadav, Shreya Tiwari, Swastik Tiwari, Arav Mehrotra, Arpita Gupta and Achyut Bajpai are the yoga buffs who brought laurels at the Yoga District Championship. One of the parameters to gauge the school's untiring endeavour towards this claim is the school's ISC and ICSC board results. The board result of 2022 again has surpassed its earlier bests. The campus ISC 2022 toppers are Gurleen Kaur Chhabra and Kaushiki Sahu with 98.75% each. ICSC Intercampus topper and All India ranked 4 is Pranam Goel with 99.2%. He was presented a check of Rs 1 lakh by the CMS management. The campus board result is excelling each year, progressively trending upwards. A large number of students are scoring 90% and above marks. This year, 95 students from the ISE section and 55 students from the ICSE section. In all, 150 students have scored 90% and above marks. Shubham Yadav has got admission to US universities and Pavni Patel to Canadian universities. Both of them have clinched hefty scholarships. The academic session at the campus had begun with the Vidya Ka Parv. Student council was appointed in the investiture ceremony. So far, the academic session has been full of variety of celebrations like on the occasion of World Earth Day, the school came together spending time to think on the theme Invest in Our Planet. A street play made a strong appeal for the same. UNESCO World Day for Cultural Diversity for Dialogue and Development was a colourful celebration at the campus full of dancers. The vigour of talented young yoga enthusiasts was in full display on the occasion of United Nations called International Day of Yoga on the theme of Yoga for Humanity. Celebrating Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, students of Class 9 along with the junior section students beautifully dressed up as freedom fighters and famous leaders along with the school banner and a tricolour in every hand commenced the patriotic march from the CMS Station Road campus together with the principal and teachers. Primary and pre-primary sections celebrated International Plastic Bag Free Day. And how? Well, the little ones delivered speech on harmful effects of plastic, yet some painted posters. Students of classes 6, 7 and 8 visited the NGO Ishwar Child Welfare Foundation at King George's Medical University, Lucknow and did some charity work. Students undertook massive tree plantation drive. 
the members of the Eco Club went to Janeshwar Mishra Park to plant saplings. The students from junior and senior sections planted more than 75 plants. By organizing a special assembly, Mother's Day was celebrated. Teachers helped children prepare cards for mothers. Mother's Club is a part of academic cycle. The activities undertaken in the club are spoken English, fireless cooking recipes, tie and dye activity, yoga, music and dances. To mark Eid, children extended a helping hand to needy people. On International Day of Older Persons, the pre-primary and primary sections celebrated the day by inviting the grandparents. Different activities were conducted for grandparents like songs, speeches, buttoning of shirts, peeling of potatoes, memory games, storytelling session and folk dance. The German classes were held for the primary and junior classes. Under Generation Global Program, through video conference, students interacted with the schools of Mexico, Ukraine, Indonesia and the Philippines. Junior Youth Empowerment Program is a platform where a lot of learning takes place over and above the academics. A wellness session named Virtue Circle is conducted every month for the teachers of Station Road Campus wherein virtues like flexibility, optimism, friendship, forgiveness, commitment, cooperation, etc. are discussed. Our bold and beautiful achievers, the outcome of CMS Holistic Development Education are Atharv and Harim Fatima of Montessori section now hold the V-Mart Little Superstar title. Manu Agrawal clicked the winning picture in Clean Air Project competition. Stuti Sahu is our winning artist among many who participated in the Crocodile Canvas organized by Lucknow Zoo. At the Hindi essay writing competition organized by Bharatiya Bhasha Pratishthan Rashtriya Parishad Uttar Pradesh, Kartike Raghuvanshi is our writer on the go, both at school and city level competitions. Anubhav Sharma is the young writer. In a series of competitions organized during the Groundwater Week by the Regional Science City Lucknow in collaboration with Groundwater Department Uttar Pradesh Lucknow, Anya Rawat emerged as the painter while Enzla Fatima and Aruna Vaish were declared first and second prize winners of collage competition. Aisha Faisal of Kindergarten won the second runner-up position in the elocution contest organized by City International School Balaganj. Stuti Sahu is both silver medal winner at the sub-junior category of ASISC Regional Drawing and Painting Competition. She also won the first prize at the zonal level in the sub-junior category. Vidushi Singh was declared first in the junior category. Anya Rawat is the artist declared in the art competition Literati held at Horner College, Lucknow. Manu Agrawal was declared photographer par excellence while Rhythm Yadav painted a lovely poster thereby winning prizes in the International Vulture Awareness Day competitions organized by Wildlife Sciences Lucknow University in collaboration with Uttar Pradesh State Diversity Board. Poet to reckon is Divyanshi Rawat. Her poems are published in books like Winter and the Pink Summer. The wildlife enthusiasts Kindil Sharma, Ibad Raisul, Shaurya Agrawal, Tasmiha Fatima and Smita Soni have bagged a whole lot of prizes at the Wildlife Week organized by the Institute of Wildlife Sciences, University of Lucknow. Young Wonders Priyanshi Pant, Samiksha Yadav, Ishanvi Agrawal, Ishi Pal and Ansh Yadav are declared Wonder Kid 2022 at the 12th national level inter-school competition. Little ones like Mohammad Sadan, Pratishtha Sharma, Prakrit Rai, Vanya Hussain and Simra Ansar showed their medal winning the first special mention prize in the event Readography at the 9th Literary Fest organized by CMS Innovation Wing while Class 1 students won third prize in elocution event LMI. At the Computon 2022, a national junior level computer literacy competition organized by Cyber Learning, the campus made a hat trick. Alia Riyaz, gold medalist, Uddhav Tiwadi, silver medalist, Jigisha Mishra, Anshuman Prakash, Shivansh Pant, Arnav Shukla, Shushant Shukla, Anjanay and Achyut Bajpayee were all declared rank holders. Our merit holder Brain O Brain Wonder Kids are Priyanshi Pan, Samiksha Yadav, Yashwarya Shri Rawat, Aklak Ahmed and Anubhav Sharma. Math Viz Kit Udbhav Tiwari won bronze medal in the International Mathematics and Science Olympiad IMSO hosted in Indonesia. Here is a snapshot view of fun and learn activities held at the three-day 14 Kids Bonanza for pre-primary children. Around 44 schools had participated. Dear friends, principal, staff and students at CMS Station Road Campus integrate 
home, school and society for children to become conscious subjects of their own growth together with them becoming the active and responsible participants in building a community. Get it out. As euphoria of FIFA World Cup 2022 dims down, making many tectonic shifts in terms of the collapsing of old citadels and emergence of new teams and fresh talents, the sports helped world unite hearts as one, overcoming international boundaries. Friends, welcome to International Concord, organized by City Montessori School, Station Road Campus for building new bridges of understanding. The first of now 21 CMS campuses, Station Road Campus, in its 63 years under the principalship of its illustrious principals from Dr. Bharati Gandhi to now Mrs. Dipali Gautam. The campus has steadily worked hard for the all-round development of students, keeping the standard up and onwards. The campus organizes one more international event the International Youth Convention on Commerce and Economics, which will be held next year. If the vision is glorious, the walk is victorious. If the football team of the campus is ready for the league matches, students of the campus have proved their mettle in many other sports. Hamad Afsar is our Roll Ball Champion in the competition 14 Sub Junior Uttar Pradesh Roll Ball Championship for Boys and Girls held in Varanasi. Mohammad Azan Khan is a skater on the go at the second roller skating competition. He clinched medals in 300 meter race and in the 200 meter one. Manika Singh Yadav is the skater and the winner of the ASIAC Zonal Under 14 Girls category. We are the campus of Taekwondo enthusiasts and at the CISC Zonal Taekwondo Championship, Kushanjali, Himani Singh, Sharanya, Mahika Gupta, Rachit, Ayush, Aviral Rajpal, Aditya Agrawal and Aishwarya Vaish won the gold, whereas Manika Yadav, Palak, Tanmay and Akarshit Kashyap won silver medals. Liba Amna, Aditya Agrawal, Anshika Singh are the medal winners at the 15th National Open Taekwondo Championship. On the occasion of International Day of Sports for Development and Peace, an inter-house chess competition was held for the students of junior section. The school has a competitive yoga team. Achit Bajpay backed the third position in the Yog Sangam. And so, in the microcosm of the city of Lucknow, Dr. Jagdish Gandhi started City Montessori School in 1959, a non-profit organization that was set up as a laboratory to create world-minded and socially conscious citizens who would work for the welfare of humanity and its unity. Plato had said, it is the idea that moves the world. Goethe says, life is action. The story of Dr. Jagdish Gandhi's life is refreshingly vibrant that encourages one to take charge, regenerate and renew. The concept of karma was introduced to him by his uncle Sri Prabhu Dayalji who inculcated in him hope and to dream of a world where there will be Satyu, the divine civilization. His father took him to village temple where religious discourses and discussions took place and his pious mother ingrained in him the value of complete connect with God at all times. Greatly influenced by Mahatma Gandhi, young Jagdish found not only the peaceful narrative of serving society, but also the burning fervor of resolution in the great man. He could fathom the power of the slogan of Jai Jagat or Hail the World coined by the Mahatma and Acharya Vinoba Bhave to reform and restructure global society. He laid the foundation of a school where value of Vasudheva Kutumbakam or Earth is but one country and mankind its citizens is being nurtured through unique CMS broader, bolder education model 
for the 21st century an education capable of saving humanity that draws heavily from the teachings of Baha'u'llah that says among the greatest of all the great services that can possibly be rendered by a man to Almighty God is the meaningful spiritual education of children, building their character and inculcating in their tender hearts the love of God. He always felt that education is not filling of a pail but the lighting of a fire. The school has educated students to respect the values of tolerance and has been actively working to construct the defenses of peace in the minds of students, parents and public. In recognition of this remarkable achievement, the school was awarded the 2002 UNESCO Prize for Peace Education. The school that began with five children and a borrowed capital of US dollar 10 in 1959 today has over 56,000 students, a Guinness World Record for being the largest school by pupils. He still works, sleeps, eats and entertains visitors in 12 by 14 square feet room where he first began his mission. All his personal belongings can fit into a suitcase. Dr. Gandhi, who has maximized expenses on his vision and minimized his personal needs by religion, he is Baha'i. By way of personal wealth, he has none. His fervent admirer and follower, his wife, Dr. Bharati Gandhi, he is supported in his vision by his principals from 18 CMS campuses, 2,000 teachers and 1,000 other workers of CMS. The De Rosio Award winner in the 20th century, the recognition of outstanding service to education and human enrichment, Dr. Gandhi argues, as universe is governed by laws of nature, humanity should also be governed by one law, and thus pioneered the idea of World Judiciary Summit. He constituted the World Unity Education Department to organize the international conferences of Chief Justices of the World since the turn of the century with the recently concluded 19th International Conference of Chief Justices of the World on Article 51 of the Constitution of India. Staunch believer of Mahatma Gandhi's path of non-violence, Dr. Jagdish Gandhi's life has been governed by the saying of let us not curse the darkness, instead light a candle. Member of the World Peace Prayer Society and a firm believer in the Japanese Kaizen theory of continuous improvement, Dr. Gandhi introduced the concept of quality control circles in education and is the founder chairman of the World Council for Total Quality and Excellence in Education. For bringing in this visionary concept in education, he was honored with the key to the city of Georgetown, USA. This crusader for unity and peace, Dr. Jagdish Gandhi has a class of his own working on a thesis, True Education Releases Capacities, Develops Analytical Abilities, Confidence in Oneself, Willpower, goal-setting competency and instills the vision that will enable oneself to become a self-motivated agent of social transformation serving for the best interest of the community. For nearly six decades now in a real laboratory of a school called CMS and its community focusing on real-time subjects in globalism, universal brotherhood and world unity and peace Dr. Gandhi has earned five honorary doctorate degrees, namely honorary doctorate degree in education in 2009 by Bashkir State Pedagogical University, Ufa, Russia, honorary doctorate degree Quas in students, law please come and settle bestowed by the University of Concepcion del Uruguay, Republic of Argentina in 2012. Please in come. the same year, another honorary doctorate degree in law given by the University of Mendoza, Gorvansh, Republic bring of them Argentina. Past. Honorary doctorate degree by Inca Gracilaso University in Peru in 2014. An honorary doctorate degree by the National University of Mongolia in 2015. Lifetime Achievement Award by the Education World Magazine in 2017. 
The prestigious Goosey Peas Prize in Manila, Philippines in 2011, the award also known as the Asian Nobel Prize, is given to achievers of the world. And soaring above the rest award by the Council for the Indian School Certificate Examination, New Delhi, for his invaluable contribution to peace through education in 2014. Who could have imagined that a frail, bashful boy born in one of thousands of remote, poverty-stricken, backward villages of the state of pre-independent Uttar Pradesh in these past 60 years would have been able to create a wonderful experiment of immense value to educators worldwide. A story which has received global recognition. A story worth understanding by policy makers and schools worldwide. May see this fragrance fill the sky And its name endure forever and I May its founders ideals inspire To strive to seek to ever aspire May we uphold the good and fair In all that we do and dare At home, at school, at play In actions of the day School is a temple of learning Where knowledge and wisdom rules Where we become the changes we dream of Our most beloved school Our lessons are of peace and love our anchor is of spirituality Our greetings for all is Jejaka Our vision is of world unity Unique in the annals of education Our founder is a one of a kind the light, the light of the world, and CMS, the hope of mankind. May CMS fragrance fill the sky. A very good evening and Jai Jagat to everyone present here. I extend a very warm welcome to one and all to the inaugural of Concord 2022. This is one such interval, ladies and gentlemen, in furtherance of the goal of global brotherhood through sports. With immense admiration, I offer the most affable welcome to our chief guest for the day, Honorable Vipin Kumar Sharmaji. Sir is Director Academics, RPS International School, Gurgaon. We shall begin with the program. Once our founder manager, sir, Dr. Jagdish Gandhi, just arrives.
And it gives me immense pleasure to welcome our respected founder, sir, founder manager, sir, Dr. Jagdish Gandhi, the founder of the largest school and a Guinness World Record holder. It's my pleasure to bid a genial welcome to all the respected principals of the various participating schools, coordinator of students' well-being, safety and sports department, CMS, Mrs. Aruna Gupta. Greetings and welcome the international and the national team leaders, event coordinators, coaches, school heads, special guests, parents, and our very lovely students. I extend a very, very warm welcome to you all once again to the inaugural of Concord 2022, being conducted on the necessity of sports in the education system, and football in particular as a sport being played on the lines of FIFA guidelines in a school environment. Ladies and gentlemen, there could not be a better coincidence than this one. I mean, today happens to be the finale of FIFA 2022, but for us, it is going to be a new beginning. Day one of Concord International Tournament. Please give it up for yourselves, right? So cheered up. Over to Tasmia. One Name Matharam is a masterpiece and an ode in praise of our mother nation, written by Sri Bankim Chandra Chatterjee to provoke the spirit of unity and the struggle for independence. Here in CMS, we are dedicated to produce quality students who progressively contribute to our national development. So let's get together and ignite our spirit of unity once again as we sing one day Matram in its true spirit, requesting each one of you to stand up in honor of the national song, followed by school prayer and devotional song. Can we please have a huge round of applause for our performers?
I request you all take your seats. Take this opportunity to welcome Head of Spoken English Department, CMS Alumni Association, and Coordinator of ISOR High Project and Dramatics, Mrs. Vera Hajela. I also extend a very, very warm welcome to all the respected principals of City Montessori School, the various branches of City Montessori School. Taking the evening further, we move to the procession of oneness and unity. I invite our respected founder manager, Sir Dr. Jagdish Gandhi, and our honorable chief guest for the evening, Mr. Vipin Kumar Sharma, to the stage.
and to begin with we have the band and leading the procession is our assiduous principal ma'am mrs dipali gautam and along with her is a highly spirited headmistress mrs savita makhija followed by are the peace birds symbolizing love peace and harmony to the world ladies and gentlemen please put your hands together for these students the concordians are all lined up gearing up for the introduction of their teams and we have the boys and girls both participating in the football tournament to begin with we have the boys team and here are the four international schools three schools from the country with the highest mountain peak in the world and birthplace of gautam buddha that is nepal so here we have orshad public school followed by shri ugratra school and that is everest academy kelali before you all the highest mountain peaks nepal next is anchalika international school from the east of india on the bay of bengal bangladesh and as the teams are coming in ladies and gentlemen they all look so determined Young athletics all present over here looking eager to conquer another major tournament in their life and then our teams from other states we have St Joseph Convent School from Sagar Madhya Pradesh another one from the heart of india madhya pradesh is little angels high school golia and we have both boys and girls team participating from little angels high school golia the ladies taking the lead followed by the boys team from little angels high school golia Up next is district school Mandi from the home to scenic mountains towns and resorts Himachal Pradesh Audience your time to do your bit And that can be indeed even louder Even louder audience from the state known for its hindu pilgrimage sites uttarakhand and then we have kanad inter school international school from bihar participating from other states india team leaders and students of all the prestigious institutions of uttar pradesh participating in this tournament with placards in their hands and here we have both the boys and the girls team participating from vishnu bhagwan school prayagraj prayagraj which was initially known as alabad okay so how many of us know why is it known as prayagraj now 
Basically, the confluence of two rivers is a prayag. And here in Allahabad, we have three rivers meeting, Ganga, Yamuna and Saraswati. It is for this re region, a reason that this is known as the king of Prayags and so Prayagraj. That is Sunbeam School, Varna, Varanasi. City regarded as the spiritual capital of India and we have the girls and boys, both the teams from the same school. We have the boys and the girls to a team from CMS City Montessori School before you whose objective for organizing the Concord is to provide a platform to give students a platform to showcase their talents and skills in the game of football along with providing an opportunity to interact and imbibe values of oneness and unity of mankind. Here comes KDB School, KDB School, the boys team from Ghaziabad. And that is girls team participating from Vishnu Bhagwan Public School, Prayagraj. Followed by the girls team from Army Public School, LBS Marg Lucknow. Takshila Academy, Ambedkar Nagar girls team participating from here. Lamadhya College, Lucknow having the boys team participating and DPS Eldico, Lucknow again having the boys team participating in this major tournament. Taking the evening further, we have the World Parliament. World Parliament being conducted on the role of educational institutions in inculcating family values. It's all about family unity. Family unity, which is an ideal foundation for society, the responsibility of the parents to provide material and spiritual education to the students. So staging before you all, World Parliament. Good evening, one and all present here. The current scenario of the world is full of chaos, hatred and discord. The situation is quite upsetting and seemingly out of control. But as a young representative of this world, I wish to use this platform to raise a very pertinent question. Have you ever thought where does this problem has its roots? Have you ever thought of eliminating it by working at the grassroots level? The deep inside the problem will give each one of us one answer. And the answer is family unity. Our families have always been the cornerstone of a society. In fact, families are the true mirrors to what a society actually is. Our families nurture preserve and pass on to each succeeding generations the values they have. The values which may act as a strong foundation for a strong society. Presenting before you all a world parliament which may act as a lighthouse and give solutions which may change the face of a society. Family is the first place from where we start learning, as it is our first interaction to the social world. Our values, skills, behavior is what we get from our family. And that makes a strong bond between the family members. Good evening and Jai Jagat to one and all present here. Today we, the students of CMS, are gathered here to discuss about one very elementary, yet very significant unit of our society called family. Have you ever noticed how often the state of a family determines the success of its individual members? 
how often strong people come from strong families, the family that provides a healthy, loving, and united environment for individual growth serves as a strong foundation on which individuals can build. Furthermore, the family which is united in its efforts can achieve any goal it sets. The members of such a family benefit from their interdependence enabling all to prosper. God wired us all for connection, for human contact. Everyone wants to belong, feel connected, loved, valued and safe, including our family members. They long to feel appreciated and respected for who they are as noble beings. Loving and seeking the peace of our homes and families means we must humble ourselves and show and feel reverence for our loved ones. How do we do that? We must remember who we are through self-reflection, prayer, meditating on the word of God and then take action to show that love. Yet, in our advanced digital age, one of the most prevalent concerns regarding the increasing emergence of loneliness is how we have become less caring for others. Our very survival depends on trusting and supportive relationships. Family connectivity is essential. Those who have it know how helpful it is to have a family that will always be on your side. In the light of the importance of family unit, the House would like to deliberate on the various aspects that will help empower the world community if families are sensitized and given the onus of the future of the world and its welfare. The first issue on our agenda is to find out how family is an ideal foundation for our society. Member nation who wish to speak may raise their placards. Member nation UK, you are recognized. UK will be followed by USA on the same agenda. Thank you, Speaker, ma'am. Fundamentally, it doesn't matter how technologically sophisticated we have become. Emotional connectivity still remains a core part of being human. We need each other, maybe not in the ways that characterized us evolutionarily, but for a need that remains essential for psychological and spiritual survival. In God's wisdom and benevolence, He designed us to do two things. To know Him and to love Him and to love others. As we have been divinely created with the ability to love, we have an inherent need to love others. Especially in our families, we want to share our beloved ones with love and want them to thrive because our families are the building blocks of the society, our homes are a fertile ground where we can grow spiritually and help our loved ones on their journey and relationship with God. Thank you. Thank you, Member Nation UK. To continue with what Member Nation UK has just expressed, I would like to add that if love an agreement, a manifest in family, that family will advance and become illumined and be spiritual. But if hatred and enmity exist within family, destruction and dispersion are inevitable. We want to express our love for God and our families by creating a safe, sacred space in which love can flourish. To keep love and harmony active within our family it is highly important to show that we care and truly value each family member. Family is the nucleus of civilization and the basic social unit of the society. We know this not only through the teachings of manifestations of God, but researches also clearly show that the institution of family is the first form of community. Abdul Baha gave us the insight into how we can create a home that nurtures the family. My home is the home of peace. My home is the home of joy and delight. My home is the home of laughter and exultation. Whosoever enters
through the portals of this home must go out with gladsome heart. This is the home of light. Those who come in must become illumined. This is the home of love. Whosoever enters here must learn the lessons of love. Thus, may they know how to love each other. Our families are the gateway to building an ever-advancing civilization. Let the joy and tranquility be where faith can always be felt and where the changes and chances of this life leave your faith unshaken. Thank you. Thank you, Member Nation UK and USA for your valuable contribution on the topic. If we educated every child in this world, can you imagine what a profound impact it would have on our global civilization just in the span of one generation? I now request member nations to throw some more light on the second topic of our agenda, which is the role of education in cultivating family values. Member nations interested in taking up the issue may raise their placards. Member Nation Brazil, you are recognized. Thank you, Speaker, sir. A child needs a wise guidance and nurturing environment in the formative years of life in order to develop a sound character. The emphasis on the importance of family and educational environment makes parents' education an integral part in the process of educating children. Here, I would like to especially add that the station of the mother is of the greatest importance and the highest merit. Children need to be constantly encouraged and made eager to gain all the summits of human accomplishments so that from their earliest years, they'll be taught to have high aims to conduct themselves well, to be chaste, pure and undefiled so that they may learn to be of profound resolve and form of purpose in all things. Education cannot alert the inner essence of a man, but it can exert tremendous influence and bring forth the perfections and capabilities hidden within an individual. A grain of wheat, when cultivated by a farmer, will yield a whole harvest, and the seed to the gardener's care will grow into a great tree. Thanks to the loving efforts of the teachers of the primary school who help children reach the highest level of achievements. It is necessary for family and educational institution to instill in every child a sense of unique opportunities and future responsibilities that await him, impress upon his tender hearts a firm foundation for their mission in life. It is important to cultivate in their hearts the love of God so that they may manifest in their lives the fear of God and have faith in the bestowals of God. It is important to teach children to free themselves from the human imperfections and to acquire the divine perfections latent in the heart of every man. Thank you. Thank you, Member Nation Brazil, for expressing your views in such a thought-provoking and profound manner. I now request Member Nation India to highlight how spiritual education can help in overall growth and development of children. Thank you, Chairperson, ma'am. Man is always in need of divine education. That is, the spirits and bounties of God are essential for his development. That is to say, the teachings of Christ and other prophets are necessary for his education and guidance. Why? Because they are the divine gardeners who till the land of human hearts and minds, remodel the waste places, burn the thorns, uproot the weeds, and remodel the waste places into orchards and gardens where fruitful trees grow. I will now suggest five short and simple ways to raise kind children. The first of these critical steps, teaching them to prefer others over themselves, allows them to transcend their own egos and selfish desires and to privilege their own natural and inborn altruism. When children become selfless rather than selfish, it sets the stage for all of the following steps. Second, giving them a spiritual education. 
teaching them about human spirit and how it is important in their maturation and development allows them to understand and conceptualize the inner spiritual attributes of life and only then they can acquire them. I now invite Member Nation Germany to elucidate further. Thank you, Member Nation India. The third step in the process of raising kind and caring children involves deeds, not words. Every parent knows that the example of their own lives has a greater impact on their children than anything they could possibly say. So this step requires a fair amount of introspection. Parents need to ask themselves at this stage, am I providing my child with a good example of the kind of person I would like them to be? If my child turns out a lot like me, would that make me happy? This step often calls for real change, making it the hardest and yet the most rewarding way to teach them kindness and caring. The fourth stage involves inspiration, allowing your children to glimpse and then form their highest ideals while they are still young, which will lead them to lofty objectives throughout their lives, adopting high spiritual ideals and goals. The fifth stage makes us nurture them at the breast of the love of God and urge them onwards to the things of the Spirit, that they may turn their faces onto God, that their ways may conform to the rules of good conduct and their character be second to none, that they acquire a sound knowledge of the various branches of learning so that from the very beginning of life they may become spiritual beings, dwellers in the kingdom, enamored of the sweet breaths of holiness and may receive an education, spiritual, religious and of the heavenly realm. Parents who nurture their child's spiritual essence both by training and by example will create lovingly devoted families. Thank you. The House appreciates the efforts of Member Nation India and Germany in bringing home the points so explicitly. The best way to worship God is to educate children. There is no nobler deed than this. Moving to our next agenda, the main difference between equality and justice is equality means having an equal position for everyone, whereas justice means the quality of being just, righteous or fair in every aspect. Meaningful progress of any society depends upon the equality and justice in every family. The house is now open for the discussion to the next topic of our agenda. I now invite our revered guest, social scientist and a reporter from CNN to throw some more light on the topic. Thank you, speaker sir. Unfortunately, most societies do not yet understand the importance of educating women. Many still consider it a luxury. If people can't afford higher education for all their children, the schooling automatically goes to the boys. Fundamental component to such an enterprise is the imperative need to educate women in full partnership with men. It has been objected by some that women is not equally capable with man and that she is deficient by creation. The difference in capability between man and woman is due entirely to opportunity and education. Heretofore, woman has been denied the right and privilege of equal development. If equal opportunity be granted to her, there is no doubt she would be the peer of man. The teachings of all social transformers recommend universal compulsory education to all children with a special focus on educating and training girls as mothers and as persons taking their place in all areas of the working world including in their own homes educated women and girls play an essential part in every progressive society with these words i now invite our reporter from cnn to take the discussion further thank you Presently, the world is caught in a cycle of miseducation wherein harmful character traits are passed from one generation to the next, retarding social progress. 
One source of this miseducation is the failure to respect women even in families. The denial of equality between sexes perpetrates an injustice against one half of the world's population and promotes in men harmful attitudes and habits that are carried from the family to the workplace to political life and ultimately to international relations. Equal participation of women is a necessity for the balanced progress of a world society. If women enter fully and capably in the affairs of the world and enter confidently and capably in the great arenas of laws and politics, problems will be solved. When women are given equal educational opportunities, a great force of peace is unleashed. For as women gain confidence upon moving into new areas of activities, they will be better positioned to affect the culture of boys and men. The outcome will be diminished violence, both at the level of interpersonal relationships and at the structural level of state policies. Thank you. Today's discussion has made us believe that to give strong roots to any progressive society, it is imperative that the unity of our family should take priority over any other consideration. Family consultation, employing full and frank discussion and animated by awareness of the need for moderation and balance can be the panacea for domestic conflict. Whenever unity exists in a family, the affairs of that family can be conducted easily. What progress the members of that family make? How do they prosper? Their concerns are in order. They enjoy comfort and tranquility. They are secure. Their positions are assured. They come to be envied by all. Such a family adds to its stature and its honors are lasting. With these words, we wind up with today's discussion. Thank you all for your patient hearing. Thank you so much, everyone. Please put your hands together once again for the most unique and breathtaking innovations of our respected founder manager, sir. I would now like to take this opportunity to invite the one who gives direction to every student and every teacher in the school. One who is a guiding light. One who is a mentor. One who has always encouraged students to give their best. Please help me in welcoming the convener of the program, our respected principal ma'am, Mrs. Dipali Gautam, with a huge round of applause. Thank you, Shpanshu. Jai Jagat and a very good evening to everybody. It is with immense pleasure that I welcome you all to the fourth international football tournament, Concord 2022 to promote values, ensure healthy lives, and promote well-being of our youth. Concord 2022 has more than 450 students participating from various countries and different parts of India. I take this opportunity to extend a warm welcome to the chief guest of today, Honorable Shri Vipin Kumar Sharmaji, Director, RPS International School, Gurgaon. Thank you, sir, for your very precious presence today. I accord a warm welcome to our founders, respected Dr. Jagdish Gandhi and Dr. Mrs. Bharti Gandhi, who have always inspired us with their vision of Jai Jagat and Vasudev Kutumkam. I extend a warm welcome to respected Professor Geeta Gandhi Kingdon, President and Managing Director of the Institution. A hearty welcome to respected Mrs. Sushmita Ghosh, Superior Principal, Head QAID, for her ever-ready support. I also welcome our senior principals, dear colleagues, for sparing their valuable time to encourage and bless our students. I heartily welcome Vera Hajela, ma'am, under whose leadership the Concord started in the year 2015. Welcome, Vera, ma'am, to our Concord 2022. It makes it all the more special, Vera, ma'am. Thank you so much for being here. 
I also welcome Aruna Gupta, ma'am, in absentia, who is the coordinator, student well-being, safety, and sports. Heartfelt welcome to all the school heads, participating team, team leaders, and coaches. A warm welcome to all the eminent guests for today. Mr. Acharya, Principal Orchard School, Nepal, and Mr. Keshav, Principal Sri Ugatara School, Nepal. I extend a warm welcome to all my lovely parents and wonderful students. I feel extremely delighted to welcome each and everyone to this Concord 2022. The social responsibility of a modern school is to unite the disunited world, to develop human resources for the unity of mankind, and to make every child not only academic achiever, but also wise, talented, law-abiding, and just. In the 63 years of CMS existence, hundreds of thousands of students have passed through his hallowed portals, working to change the world through their actions, spreading the message of Vasudev Kutamkam and Jai Jagat wherever they are and making a world, the world a better place for themselves and future generations. Concord International is just another effort on our part to bring the world closer. Sports or any physical activity performed at young age definitely provides numerous benefits to the students. Just like a diet of healthy nutrients is needed for nourishing the body, playing sports hold a great significance in enhancing our lives especially for growing children. As a student, one has to face many challenges, and playing sports helps them to cope up with exam pressure, and not only that, prepare them for future challenges, providing them with physical and mental strength. Children who are indulged in physical activities sustain good values of mutual respect and cooperation. Playing sports teaches them skills such as accountability, leadership, and learning to work with a sense of responsibility and confidence. Apart from health benefits, sports have an incredible value for communities and people around the world. They can bring people together in the ways nothing else can. Not only can sports bring whole communities and countries together, they can also connect people on a personal level. Playing or watching, both are great ways to develop or maintain strong personal connections with other people. Even better, playing on a team helps make better relationships. Dear participant, all the children, during the course of four-day event, there will be extensive opportunities for you to learn about team building, resilience, confidence building. I wish you all the very best. I hope you are able to perform exceedingly well. Looking forward to the exciting days of bonding, learning and growing together. As I conclude, I express my heartfelt gratitude to our honorable chief guest for gracing the occasion, gratitude to our founders and management for their constant guidance. A warm thank you to all. Immensely grateful to you all for your distinguished presence. Thank you and Jai Jagat. Thank you so much, respected principal ma'am, for those kind words. You are always our guiding light. I once again extend a very warm welcome to each one of you to Concord 2022. Someone has very rightly said that where words fail, music enters. Music is the language of spirit. Where words leave off, music enters. The mothers of the students of City Montessori School have prepared a medley presenting before you our wonderful mothers.
mothers to hold on for a few more moments on the stairs mothers Indeed, that message by a beautiful mother has touched our hearts. It is time now to appreciate their hard work and honor the mothers. Honor them with a small token of love in the form of gifts and yes, audience. That side Can you hear it so much ladies in red you all look very very beautiful i would now call upon tasmia to introduce the next item many branches as branches you may say religions are many the differences and illusions are vanity all religion prayer is a unique innovation of city montessori school the great religions of the world when taken together constitute tremendous reservoir of spiritual philosophical wisdom and there is really no good reason why we should confine ourselves in only one of them up next we have the all religion prayer please put your hands together for our next performers Krishna Krishna Hare Hare Sam 
बरकतों का पैगाम मिले कहने से लाइला रहमतों का सलाम मिले बस कहने से दिस मिला कुछ कर कुछ नायत कुछ रहम थोड़ी है फरमाइश जो जरा गुंजाइश ना कोई मजबूर हो पर सारे जा तू नूर तो इस लिखा पे पे लिखा है दिल से मैंने बिस मिला बिस मिला
खुशियों से खुश हो गए वो मन है पौरों की खातिर जो जल जाए वो तन है ना तू चकरी ना नी चकरी सौहार्द जहाँ मानव कवही ना ऊंचा कोई ना नीचा कोई सौहार्द जहाँ मानव तब ही ये असल अनंत सच्चाई बुद्ध ने ये ही समझाए ये बुद्ध की वाणी है
सब ताए कहे अलग अलग है नाम मालिक सब ताए कहे अलग अलग है
all relevant prayer is conducted at the beginning of every event to create an environment of all religions are one that was indeed a tremendous performance can we please give it up for our little ones audience i would like to once again welcome our esteemed guest of honor Ms. respected mr vipin kumar sharma can we have a please can we please have a huge round of applause for our esteemed guest of honor for the evening audience can we please have a huge round of applause your presence really means a lot to us sir now we have a welcome dance dedicated to our chief guest for the evening Ayo 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 ayo
Well, that was an amazing performance, a token of appreciation to acknowledge the presence of our Honorable Chief Guest for the day, Mr. Vipin Kumar Sharma. Thank you so much, sir, for taking out time for all of us from a busy schedule. Let's proceed this evening further by lighting the lamp. Lighting the lamp signifying positivity, purity, good luck, and power. And to do the honoring, we have an esteemed gathering amongst us. I invite respected Dr. Jagdish Gandhi, sir, founder manager, Dr. Jagdish Gandhi, sir, respected sir, and our honorable chief guest for the program, Mr. Vipin Kumar Sharma. I invite them on the stage for lighting of the lamb ceremony. I also request principals of all the schools, all the participating schools and the schools, the various branches of City Montessori School, I request all the principals, the team leaders to kindle the light. All the dignitaries present in the auditorium, I request all the dignitaries to come up for the garlanding and lighting of the lamp ceremony. I even request the team leader sitting in the auditorium kindly join us for the lighting of the lamp. And yes, our very talented mothers. Please can you all come? 
come out for the lighting of the land. Keep this love. Yes, ma'am, please. Always burn. Do the honor. और इस इवनिंग को और खूबसूरत बना दीजिए आप सभी स्टेज पे आ जाइए और और भी मदर्स अभी बैठी हैं हॉल में और भी सब आपसे आज जोड़ के रिक्वेस्ट है आप सभी आइए आपके बच्चों का इवेंट है अभी आप मन में बच्चों को स्टेज पे पार्टिसिपेट करती देखा उनको इंकरेज करने के लिए प्लीज स्टेज पे आइए सभी मदर वन एंड ऑल ईच एंड एवरी मदर मूज देर इन दॉट सो वंडरफुल थैंक यू आप सभी आइए क्योंकि उसके बाद ग्रुप फोटोग्राफ में हम चाहेंगे आप सब दिखे उस ग्रुप फोटोग्राफ में अभी भी हमको दिख रहा है हॉल में कुछ मदर्स अभी भी बैठी हैं Send your ma'am. You also please come. Tell the guy also to be to be there on the stage. Keep this love. And then we request you all to line up for the group photograph on the steps. Love you, mothers. Love you for all your support and cooperation. लाइटिंग ऑफ द लाइन के बाद आपसे रिक्वेस्ट है आप स्टेप्स पे लाइन अप हो जाइए ग्रुप फोटोग्राफ के लिए हमारे चीफ गेस्ट और हमारे फाउंडर मैनेजर के साथ ऑल द ऑफिशियल्स टीम लीडर्स कोचेस प्लीज ज्वाइन अस फॉर द ग्रुप फोटोग्राफ एंड ऑल आर रिस्पेक्टेड सीनियर प्रिंसिपल्स my dear colleagues please do the honors please be there with us in the frame and this looks so beautiful i mean see the stage mothers i still the, the podium the entire stage is open for you all Lighting of the lamp. This is one such great auspicious ceremony is before the beginning of any event at City Montessori School. I request our esteemed dignitaries, His Excellency Dr. Jagdish Gandhi Sir, Honorable Chief Guest, Principals, Team Leaders, and also the mothers, kindly assemble on the stairs for a group photograph. I invite the principals on the first step. I invite all the dignitaries, all the team leaders, the teachers, the mothers, kindly come up on the stairs. Even the teachers of City Montessori Station Road campus. Please do join us for this group photograph. Yes, and this moment definitely needs to be captured. What with so many ladies on the stairs. the very hard working the super talented and versatile ladies i invite the team leaders also on the stairs for a group photograph team leaders light which is a, which is a universal symbol of truth a universal symbol of knowledge and understanding light acts as a guide keeping us from trembling in the dark 
it is essential to light the lamp and then begin any auspicious ceremony. And here they are for the Kodak moment. Thank you so very much, everyone. Thank you so much for igniting the spirit of comprehensive wisdom within all of us present today. So here we just witnessed our traditional lamp lighting ceremony as a tribute, a tribute to Goddess of Wisdom. Goddess of Wisdom to bestow her warm blessings upon us to achieve additional academic and future prosperity. Thank you so much, Mothers of City Montessori School family, for your ever enthusiastic, active participation in events every time you are called upon. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen, this is the bond, the bond that CMS uh, strives for. It believes that the three schools of humanity, namely home, school, and community, each one of them has a measure of responsibility towards every child. And taking the evening further, I request everyone to be seated. Okay, so what do you think? What are the true ingredients behind success of a great institution? For me, hard work, dedication, group effort, ability to work in unison towards a common goal, these are the very ma many, many ingredients which are required towards success and for success of a great institution. You need to do small things and you need to do it with a lot of love and fun all together. What do you think, Adi? Thank you so much, ma'am, for giving me the opportunity to share, to share my opinion. We are only as strong as we are united and as weak as we are divided. Wherever there is unity, there is always victory. If spiders unite, they can even tie down a lion. The purpose of the World Unity Prayer is to show us that if all the countries of the world come together to live with love and peace, this world will be a much better place to live in. And very rightly said. So staging before you all is World Unity Prayer, which starts with a conversation between two countries. You will witness difference of opinions and th these opinions lead to conflicts between the nations. The role of sports will take a toll over here. Sports and in particular football in resolving conflicts and restoring peace amongst the nations. 
So we have students appealing to the countries of the world to live in peace and harmony. Here we have the World Unity Prayer. We will kill you. We will not. We will not. We, will not we, will we, will we want justice. Yes, we, we want, want justice. justice. We want justice. justice. What is the matter? Why are you fighting? It is because we do not agree with them. Even we do not agree with them. There is already so much fighting going on in this world. Why do you need to fight? Instead, you must promote peace. If you see to fight, utilize your energy on a sports ground. And how will that help? It will help to promote peace. Before you ask me anything, hear me out. Congo, a state of Africa, which was suffering due to wars since 1996, and to bring peace among local groups, a soccer match was organized. How did that help? Well, it helped to break tension. And this was the only way to get people come together. It was easy to break barriers. That is not all. Do you know that a ping pong tournament in 1971 helped break the ice between USA and China which led to economic restoration? Yes, even in Tanzania, a society called Africa on the Ball organized a football match to unite students from Africa and Asia for they worked on the game in the same team and hence promoted peace. Can you tell me the most important sports event? Yes, that's the Olympics. The IOC considered sports as a language of peace. They use it as a tool of social change, like peace building measures, girl and woman empowerment, and many similar issues. The five rings of Olympic Games represent the five continents. Concord, a small step towards peace. Why? Why does it have to be like this? Is life for wasting in world full of wars? Why don't we give a helping hand? Why do we never learn? Why do we just stand and stare? Why do we always pass the blame? And why can't we all just be friends? Let us seek our answers in the World Unity Prayer coming up next.
O oh my God, O oh my God, unite the hearts of thy servants. May they follow thy commandments and abide in thy law. Help them, O oh God, in their endeavors and grant them the strength to serve thee. May God Almighty bring peace and unity to our troubled world. Peace in the hearts of all men and women and unity amongst the nations of the world. I pledge my best to mankind, to the planet and all its inhabitants to promote freedom, equality to all races, species and genders. We all must stand for those things without which the humankind cannot survive. Love that conquers hate, peace that rises above war and justice that proves more powerful than greed. is the beginning. Keeping together is progress. Working together is success. Always choose togetherness over otherness. When the power of love overcomes the love of power, only then the world will have peace and unity. We belong to the land of North America where sports is a passion. National Basketball Association, a 70-year-old organization, was born here. We are also famous for mixed martial arts and rugby. We are proud to announce that the FIFA World Cup and the T20 World Cup 2026 will be hosted by us. Cricket legends such as Sir Vivian Richards and Sir Brian Lara belong to our continent. The great swimming icon Michael Phelps who has won 23 golds, 3 silvers and 2 bronze belongs to our continent. I pray for the happiness of all the people of North America. May peace and unity be in all the countries of the world. May unity prevail on earth. May unity prevail on earth. We must be united in heart and mind. We cannot be separated in interest or divided in purpose. We stand together till the end. So powerful is the light of unity that it can eliminate the whole earth. We belong to the land of South America, the land of football. We were the first to host the FIFA World Cup in 1930 and were also the first to clinch it. We have won this title nine times which is the most by any continent. We have given birth to many famous legends like late Diego Maradona of Argentina and the great Pele of Brazil. I pray for the happiness of all the people of South America. May peace and unity be in all the countries of the world. May unity prevail on earth. May unity prevail on earth. When we dare, unity grows when we pair, love grows when we share, and brotherhood grows when we care. We are here to create, not destroy. We are here to spread love, peace, and unity. We should follow the ideals that lead to a virtuous and peaceful world. We belong to the land of Africa, the first 
to host the T20 World Cup and it was a proud moment for us to host the FIFA World Cup 2010 Africa has also performed extremely well in global competition especially in the field and track events i pray for the happiness of all the people of africa may peace and unity be in all the countries of the world may unity prevail on earth may unity prevail on earth so little together we can do so much we are not a team because we work together we are a team because we respect care and trust each other strive earnestly to guard and keep the harmony and oneness of the spirit in the binding power of peace we belong to the land of europe we take pride to have the oldest stadium of the world the colosseum in our continent where the romans held the first ever sporting event mainly sword fight gladiators we were the originators of the world famous olympic games at athens greece in 1776 bc club football has also emerged in our continent since the 15th century great players like roger federer rafael nadal and lewis hamilton took birth on our soil I pray for the happiness of all the people of Europe. May peace and unity be in all the countries of the world. May unity prevail on earth. May unity prevail on earth. work to be united is a great thing but to respect to be different is even greater the destiny of bad is to unite not to divide we need to look at our differences with respect learn from these differences and grow with them unity is strength when there is teamwork collaboration wonderful things can be achieved we belong to the land of oceania where the australian rules football was born Cricket is one of the most popular sports in our continent. We are the only one with 550 over World Cup, one T20 over World Cup, and one Test Championship Cup. We have the largest boundary in length, that is the Great Melbourne Cricket Ground. Many legends like Sir Don Bradman with highest average in Test cricket of 99.94, and Shane Warne with about more than 700 wickets in Test cricket were born on our soil. I pray for the happiness of all the people of Oceania. May peace and unity be in all the countries of the world. May unity prevail on earth. May unity prevail on earth. Success is not only for the elite. Success is there for those who want it, plan for it, and take actions to achieve it. To succeed in the mission for unity, one must have single-minded devotion to their goal. We belong to the land of Asia, where martial arts was discovered in China thousands of years ago. In order to promote sports in Asia, we organized the Asian Games, which is a 70-year-old tournament. Cricket is one of the most popular games in our continent. We are proud to announce that the largest cricket stadium, Sri Narendra Modi Stadium, is here in Asia. Legends like Sachin Tendulkar, Muthaiya Murli Dharan, and Major Dhyan Chand have taken birth here. I pray for the happiness of all the people of Asia. May peace and unity be in all the countries of the world. May unity prevail on earth. May unity prevail on earth.
talent wins game, but teamwork and intelligence wins championship. I alone cannot change the world, but I can cast a stone across the water to create many ripples. I urge that all countries of the world rise above their personal interest and work together for the common good of the whole world. The desire for peace changes opinions, slowly erodes old barriers and quietly creates new avenues. We all need to guarantee that a future generation are born, raised and educated in an environment of equal opportunity in every country and in every continent. I pray for the happiness of all the countries of the world. May unity and peace be in all the countries of the world. May unity prevail on earth. 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 Same business for equal rights and justice for the people then what's happening to this beautiful world that we're living in? Well citizens lift up your voices, oh you know we got something to say. All we need is the same directions, heading in one way. Well, we live as one. I know we can make it past the time has come. In this world, gotta live as one. We're going in the same direction, a real connection out of many. We are one. Oh, oh, oh. Out of many, we are one. Oh, oh, oh. Out of many, we are one. A long time, this is the war for peace. Put on the gun to make the love increase. I have to see the youth and lay the seas. Take your place, make the comments to peace in a seat. We really need to bring that old thing back. More love to bring us right on track. Remember when we used to love like that? Seems like we don't know where it's at. Remember that. We live as one I know we can make it cause the time has come In this world We live as one I know we can change it cause the time has come In this world Gotta live as one The same direction, a real connection Out of many we are one
Indeed, we are one. That was a tremendous performance. Audience, can we please have a huge round of applause for this performance? I would also like to take this opportunity to welcome our respected founder direct director, ma'am, Dr. Mrs. Bharti Gandhi, who is always our guiding light and who has always been a perennial source of inspiration for all of us we really welcome you, ma'am, and we are delighted to have you this evening. Things work out well when many heads are put together. The strength of unity is not physical force, but the energy that is added when we come together. Alone, we can do so little. Together, we can do so much. Coming together is the beginning. Keeping together is progress. Working together is success. I can do things you cannot. You can do things I cannot. Together, we can do great things. The truth is that teamwork is at the heart of great achievement. Don't you think so, Tasmia? Oh, yes. Teamwork makes the dream work. When I is re replaced by we, even illness becomes wellness. Football is once a sport which teaches valuable lessons about teamwork that apply both on and off the field. It is a team sport and one that is ubiquitous. It is entertaining and to watch as well as to participate in the game. It is a sport that has won the hearts of millions of people around the world. There would be no professional level of football if it were not for the love of football, if it were not for the participation in the game. And it is a great coincidence that on the day of inaugural of CONCO 2022, we also have the FIFA, fi uh, FIFA uh, World Cup uh, finale. I'm sure the excitement in your hearts must be at great levels. Now, we have performance by the dreamers in Arabic style in tune with FIFA 2018 song. Let's give a big round of applause for our performers.
Follow my lead. Come now, follow my lead. Come now, follow my lead. Come I tell you, I'm sure it made each one of you, everyone sitting over here, want to go out full out, right? Can we hear it once more? Thank you so much, dear audience. And here comes the moment, the moment that you all have been waiting for. Declaration of the International Football Meet Concord 2022 Open. Sports do not build character, they reveal it. So just play, just have fun and enjoy it. I once again invite our respected chief guest and founder manager, Sir Dr. Jagdish Gandhi, to come up on stage and declare the meet open. We are honored to have amongst us the President and Managing Director of City Montessori School, Professor Geeta Gandhi Kingdon. I extend a very warm welcome to you, ma'am. I request you to come up on the stage for declaring the meet open. I invite the coaches and the team leaders to please come up on the stage. We are here to declare the meet open. All the principals, principals of the various participating schools. We are indeed privileged to have you all amongst us right here this evening. I invite all the coaches, the team leaders, principals, please do come up and join for the declaration of the meet open. I hereby declare International Football Tournament Concord 2022 open. Audience, let not this energy fade away. We have a surprise waiting for you all. And amidst the silence, Lord, can we have the music, please? Music! <laughs> Performance gets 
Thank you so much, dignitaries. Thank you so much for your presence up here. One last time, please, please, let's put your hands together for the Junior Ronaldos and the Messi's. Yay! I think I've touched the right now. I request everyone to assemble on the stairs for a group photograph. Team leaders, I request you to come up on the stairs and arrange yourself for a group photograph. And then guests, principals, Coaches, I request you all to kindly come up for a group photograph. Can we have all the eminent guests, the coaches, the team leaders sitting in the auditorium, coaches and team leaders sitting in the auditorium, kindly come up for a group photograph. This moment needs to be captured. And yes, I can sense it. The next four days are going to be a phenomenal one. I'm telling you, and I trust me, it will be phenomenal. There's going to be fun. There's going to be musti. There's going to be dhamal. There's going to be a lot of excitement. Concord is much in keeping up the sentiment and ethos of CMS Station Road Campus. It is a dream of our respected founders to unite the world. This platform and opportunity will help our young players to showcase their talent and develop a sense of harmony and brotherhood among them. I now request our very own founder manager, sir, respected Dr. Jagdish Gandhi, to kindly address the gathering. आज के हमारे चीफ गेस्ट परमादरणीय श्री विपिन कुमार शर्मा जी डायरेक्टर एकेडमिक्स आरपीएस इंटरनेशनल स्कूल गुरगांव हमारे विपिन कुमार शर्मा जी जिस स्कूल के डायरेक्टर हैं उसमें 40000 बच्चे हैं 17 ब्रांचेस हैं हरियाणा में और उसमें डिग्री कॉलेजेस हैं और बहुत सारे ये इंटरनेशनल स्कूल है और आरपीएस इंटरनेशनल स्कूल गुरगांव में और इसमें साइंस के कॉलेजेस हैं डिग्री कॉलेजेस हैं और बहुत सारे कॉलेजेस हैं और अब आप इन सारे कॉलेजेस को लेकर एक यूनिवर्सिटी बनाने जा रहे हैं तो बहुत जल्दी ही आशा है कि हमारी इनकी यूनिवर्सिटी भी तैयार हो जाए और यूनिवर्सिटी बना लेंगे ये हम बहुत आभारी हैं श्री विपिन कुमार शर्मा जी के जो आप यहाँ गुरगांव से पधारे हैं और शिक्षा के क्षेत्र में एक बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण आपका योगदान है और जिसके लिए जितनी भी बधाइयाँ आपको दी जाए वो कम होगी यहाँ बहुत सारे अभिभावक बैठे हैं और टीम जो बाहर से आई है वो भी हैं प्रेम मित्रों अभी हमारे बच्चों ने एक प्रार्थना करी थी और ये प्रार्थना में है प्रेयर में है इसके अर्थ है वो मैं बताना चाहूँगा आई वी आर विटनेस ऑफ माई गॉड द दाव इज क्रिएटेड मी टू नो दी एंड टू वर्शिप दी मैं साक्षी देता हूँ हे मेरे परमेश्वर कि तूने मुझे 
इसलिए उत्पन्न किया है कि मैं तुझे जानू और दूसरे तेरी पूजा करूं जानने की मानी क्या है परमात्मा तो दिखाई नहीं पड़ता उसे हम देख नहीं सकते उससे बात नहीं कर सकते उसका कोई ठोर ठिकाना नहीं है लेकिन फिर भी उसको जानना हर व्यक्ति का कर्तव्य है क्योंकि व्यक्ति को परमात्मा ने बनाया है और अपने सृजनहार को अपने बनाने वाले को जानना बहुत जरूरी है तो जानने की मानी क्या है उसकी शिक्षाओं को जानना और उसने अपनी शिक्षाएं अपने संदेश वाहकों के द्वारा अपने मैसेंजर्स के द्वारा भेजी हैं जिन्हें हम अवतार कहते हैं या जिन्हें हम मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ गॉड कहते हैं ये मैसेंजर्स हैं परमात्मा के परमात्मा एक है दो नहीं है अनेक नहीं है राम का कृष्ण का बुद्ध का मोहम्मद का नानक का ईसा का बाप का बाउल्ला का जोराष्ट्र का मोजिद का अब्राहम का भगवान महावीर का एक ही परमात्मा है कोई एक दो दर्जन परमात्मा नहीं है एक दो दर्जन खुदा या अल्लाह नहीं है एक है उसके नाम अनेक हैं कोई उसे खुदा कहता है कोई अल्लाह कहता है कोई वाह गुरु कहता है कोई इसे ईश्वर कहता है कोई गॉड कहता है कोई परमात्मा कहता है और जर्मन फ्रेंच रशियन स्पेनिश सैकड़ों भाषाएं हर भाषा में उसका एक नाम है लेकिन वो एक ही है दो नहीं है तो पहली चीज तो ये स्कूलों के लिए बहुत जरूरी है पेरेंट्स को जानना अपने बच्चों को बताना कि ईश्वर तो एक है झगड़ा किस बात का होता है कि तेरा अल्लाह बड़ा है कि मेरा ईश्वर बड़ा है भाई अल्लाह ईश्वर तो एक ही बात है चाहे उसे अल्लाह कहे या ईश्वर कहे अब ये पानी कहे या ऐसे वाटर कहे बात तो एक ही है झगड़ा इस बात का है कई बच्चा कहता है कि ये तो पानी है एक बच्चा कहता है तो वाटर है और दोनों झगड़ा कर रहे हैं तो समझदार टीचर ने बताया कि पानी और वाटर तो एक ही बात है इसके नाम अलग अलग है यहां पर एक गाना हुआ बहुत अच्छा था ईश्वर अल्लाह वाहे गुरु चाहे कहो श्री राम सबका मालिक एक है अलग अलग है नाम तो मालिक तो सबका एक है नाम अलग अलग है तो ये बात स्कूल की बच्चों को और पेरेंट्स को आनी चाहिए कि स्कूल की जो प्रार्थना है उसमें है कि हमें ईश्वर की शिक्षाओं को जानना है तो वही जानना परमात्मा को जानना है साढ़े सात हजार वर्ष पूर्व जो इतिहास उपलब्ध है मानव सभ्यता के पास उसमें साढ़े सात हजार वर्ष पूर्व राम का आगमन इस धरती पर होता है और वो कहलाते मर्यादा पुरुषोत्तम भगवान श्री राम तो उन्होंने मानव जीवन को मर्यादित करने की शिक्षा दी उनके चले जाने के बाद उनकी मृत्यु के बाद देखिए जो जन्म लेता है उसकी मृत्यु होती है परमात्मा कभी जन्म नहीं लेता इसलिए उसकी मृत्यु नहीं होती परमात्मा अजर अमर है वो तो आत्म तत्व है और आत्मा को न तलवार काट सकती है न अग्नि जला सकती है न पानी गला सकता है न वायु सुखा सकती है तो परमात्मा तो आत्म तत्व है और वही आत्म तत्व परमात्मा हमको देता है जहां तक शरीर का सवाल है ये तो सबका शरीर पांच तत्वों से बना है क्षित जल पावक गगन समीरा पंच तत्व यह रचित शरीरा क्षित माने मिट्टी जल माने पानी पावक माने अग्नि गगन तत्व और समीर समीर माने वायु इन पांच तत्वों से बना शरीर सारे संसार के प्रत्येक प्राणी का 
इन्हीं पांच तत्वों से शरीर बना और उसके अंदर आत्मा है वो परमात्मा का अंश है आत्म तत्व है तो फर्क फर्क क्या है ये झगड़ा किस बात का है केवल अज्ञानता का है स्कूल क्या है स्कूल इज द लाइट हाउस ऑफ सोसाइटी टू प्रोवाइड मीनिंगफुल एजुकेशन स्पिरिचुअल डायरेक्शन गाइडेंस एंड लीडरशिप टू स्टूडेंट्स दे पेरेंट्स एंड द सोसाइटी इन जनरल विद्यालय समाज के प्रकाश का केंद्र है और विद्यालय यदि प्रकाश का केंद्र नहीं होगा तो अंधकार का केंद्र बनेगा कौन सा प्रकाश ईश्वरीय प्रकाश का केंद्र है और ईश्वरीय प्रकाश क्या है ईश्वर एक है और सारे अवतार एक परमात्मा की ओर से आए राम का कृष्ण का बुद्ध का मोहम्मद का नानक का ईसा का पर, परमात्मा एक ही है इन सब का एक ही परमात्मा ने भेजा है दिव्य ज्ञान जो पुस्तकें भेजी हैं एक परमात्मा से आई हैं हर धर्म का एक ही उद्देश्य है द बेसिक पर्पज ऑफ ऑल द रिलीजन इज टू सेफ गार्ड द इंटरेस्ट एंड प्रमोट द यूनिटी ऑफ द ह्यूमन रेस एंड टू फर्स्टर द स्पिरिट ऑफ लव एंड फेलोशिप अमिंग्स मैन तो हर धर्म का एक ही उद्देश्य है द बेसिक पर्पज ऑफ ऑल द रिलीजन इज टू सेफ गार्ड द इंटरेस्ट मानव हितों की रक्षा करना एंड प्रमोट द यूनिटी ऑफ द ह्यूमन रेस मानव मात्र में एकता पैदा करना प्रमोट द यूनिटी ऑफ द ह्यूमन रेस एंड टू फर्स्टर द स्पिरिट ऑफ लव एंड फेलोशिप अमंग्स मैन मानव मात्र में एकता और मित्रता फेलोशिप केवल हर धर्म का एक ही उद्देश्य है चाहे वो इस्लाम हो चाहे हिंदू धर्म हो सिख धर्म हो ईसाई हो जैन हो पारसी हो बौद्ध हो भाई हो हर धर्म का एक ही उद्देश्य है द बेसिक पर्पज ऑफ ऑल द रिलीजन इज टू सेफ गार्ड द इंटरेस्ट एंड प्रमोट द यूनिटी ऑफ द ह्यूमन रेस एंड टू फर्स्टर द स्पिरिट ऑफ लव एंड फेलोशिप अमंग्स मैन परमात्मा ने जो दिव्य ज्ञान भेजा है ये सारा दिव्य ज्ञान एक दिन में नहीं आया साढ़े सात हजार वर्ष पूर्व राम के माध्यम से मर्यादा का पाठ भेजा और उनकी मृत्यु के यस ढाई हजार वर्ष के बाद इनकी मृत्यु के ढाई हजार वर्ष के बाद कृष्ण का आगमन होता है और कृष्ण को दिव्य लोक से एक गीता का ज्ञान मिला एक परमात्मा की ओर से जिसमें था न्यायार्थ अपने बंधु को भी दंड देना धर्म न्याय की शिक्षा ही उनकी मृत्यु के ढाई हजार वर्ष के बाद यानी आज से ढाई हजार वर्ष पूर्व बुद्ध का आगमन होता है और बुद्ध जी को त्रिपटक परमात्मा ने दी जिसमें था सम्यक ज्ञान सब बराबर है ऊंच नीच गलत है क्योंकि सबका शरीर तो मिट्टी से बना है और आत्मा एक परमात्मा की है तो फर्क क्या है उन्हें किसी भी संसार के आदमी में दूसरे आदमी से कोई फर्क नहीं है क्योंकि शरीर हर एक व्यक्ति का क्षित जल पावक गगन समीरा इन्हीं से पांच तत्वों से शरीर बना है और आत्मा सब में एक ही परमात्मा की है तो दूरियां किस बात की है अज्ञान के कारण सारी दूरियां है झगड़ा है मारपीट है युद्ध है लड़ाइयां हैं तो ये अज्ञान है और विद्यालय का काम है ज्ञान का प्रकाश बच्चों को देना स्कूल क्या है स्कूल इज अ लाइट हाउस ऑफ सोसाइटी टू प्रोवाइड मीनिंगफुल एजुकेशन स्पिरिचुअल डायरेक्शन गाइडेंस एंड लीडरशिप टू स्टूडेंट्स देर पेरेंट्स एंड द सोसाइटी इन जनरल जो विद्यालय बच्चों को उनके पेरेंट्स को और समाज को प्रकाश नहीं देता है ईश्वरीय प्रकाश वो अंधकार बांटता है तो विद्यालय तो बहुत बड़ी चीज है बच्चे आते हैं 
बच्चों को ईश्वरीय प्रकाश मिलना चाहिए ताकि बच्चे इस बात को अपने परिवारजनों को बता सके और परिवारजन आज काफ़ी बड़ी तादाद में यहाँ पर आए हैं तो उनसे भी मेरा कहना है कि ये शिक्षाएँ जानना बहुत ज़रूरी है स्कूल की जो प्रेयर है उसको जानना और बच्चों को बताना कि आई वेयर विटनेस टू माई गॉड द दास क्रिएटेड मी टू नो दी एंड टू वर्शिप दी नो दी मीन्स तेरी शिक्षाओं को जानना ही परमात्मा को जानना है और तेरी पूजा करना उन शिक्षाओं पर चलना ही पूजा है बाकी रिचुअल से घंटों लगाते हैं लोग क्या हो रहा है साहब पूजा करने में बैठे कितनी देर हो गई बोले जी अभी तो घंटा भर हुआ है खाली अभी कितनी देर और होगी बोले दो घंटा और लगेगा पूजा में इट इज ए वेस्ट ऑफ टाइम पूजा तो केवल एक है परमात्मा की आज्ञाओं पर चलना परमात्मा की आज्ञाओं को जानकर उन पर चलना हमारा जीवन मर्यादित हो अमर्यादित न हो हमारे अंदर न्याय की शिक्षा हो तो न्याय करें हम परिवार में और समाज में कहीं भी अन्याय ना करें बुद्ध की शिक्षा हमें मिली त्रिपटक का ज्ञान सब बराबर है ये समता सम सम्य ज्ञान मिला ये ऊंच नीच गलत है ब्राह्मण क्षत्रिय वैश्य और शूद्र ये व्यवस्थाएं मनुष्य की बनाई है परमात्मा की बनाई नहीं है परमात्मा ने ब्राह्मण क्षत्रिय वैश्य और शूद्र नहीं बनाए और उनकी उपजातियां अनेक बन गई ब्राह्मणों में अनेक उपजातियां क्षत्रियो में अनेक उपजातियां वैश्यों में अनेक उपजातियां शूद्रों में अनेक उपजातियां जातियों और उपजातियों में सारा समाज बट के रह गया बुद्धि जी ने कहा कि यह गलत है ये अज्ञानता के कारण है ये मनु महाराज ने ये वर्ण व्यवस्था दी थी तो ऋषि मुनि कोई भी बात कह देते हैं तो हमारे लोग बहुत एक्सेप्ट कर लेते हैं कुछ भी हो उसको क्वेश्चन नहीं करते लेकिन आज बहुत दयनीय स्थिति है समाज की समाज टुकड़ों में बटा हुआ है और ये बढ़ते बढ़ते यहाँ तक कि आप देखें कि रशिया का पार्ट था यूक्रेन और यूक्रेन अलग हुआ तो आज दस महीने से पुटिन साहब उसको नष्ट कर रहे हैं हजारों लाखों लोगों को मार डाला है और तमाम घरों को खडहर बना दिया कितना विनाश कर रहे हैं अपने ही भाइयों का जो कि रशिया का पार्ट था यूक्रेन अलग हो गए ग्यारह देश बन गए तो अब झगड़ा हो रहा है और इस सीमा तक के लाखों लोगों को मार डाला अब प्रतिदिन मार रहे हैं और उनकी छाती ठंडी नहीं हो रही तो ये सब अज्ञानता के कारण है स्कूलों ने अंग्रेजी भूगोल गणित तो पढ़ाया लेकिन मानवीय गुण नहीं पढ़ाए उसका परिणाम ये सब युद्ध लड़ाइयाँ मारपीट झगड़े जातियों के झगड़े हिंदू मुस्लिम के दंगे जितने भी हो रहे हैं सिर्फ अज्ञानता के द्योतक हैं यहाँ तक कि शिया सुनियों में दंगे हो रहे हैं प्रोटेस्टेंट और कैथोलिक में दंगे हो दंगे हो रहे हैं निरंकारी और अकालियों में दंगे हो रहे हैं आर्य समाजी और हिंदुओं में आर्य समाजी और सनातनियों में दंगे हो रहे हैं तो ये सिर्फ अज्ञानता के कारण है विद्यालय का काम है कि इसको अंधकार को दूर करे और प्रकाश बताए तो प्रकाश यही है आई वी आर विटनेस टू माई गॉड द दास क्रिएटेड मी टू नो दी एंड टू वर्शिप दी मैं साक्षी देता हूँ ये मेरे परमेश्वर कि तूने मुझे इसलिए उत्पन्न किया है कि मैं तुझे जानूं अर्थात तेरी शिक्षाओं को जानूं और तेरी पूजा करूं अर्थात उन शिक्षाओं का मैं पालन करूं बुद्ध के जाने के मृत्यु के 500 वर्ष के बाद यानी आज से 2000 वर्ष पूर्व यीशु मसीह आए उन्हें सूली दे दी गई कीलों से ठोक कर उन्हें मार दिया गया तो जब कीलों से ठोक रहे थे 
और वो जानते थे कि मैं मरने जा रहा हूं तो वो अपनी प्रार्थना नहीं कर रहे थे हे भगवान मुझे बचाओ ये मार रहे बल्कि उनकी प्रार्थना दूसरी थी हे भगवान उन्हें डर लगा कि कहीं परमात्मा इन्हें दंडित न कर दे जो मुझे मार रहे हैं तो तुरंत परमात्मा से उन्होंने प्रार्थना की हे परमात्मा ये तो अबोध और ज्ञानी है ये अपराधी नहीं है इनको माफ कर देना उन्हें डर लगा कि कहीं परमात्मा इन्हें दंडित न करे इतना दया का भाव था इतना दया की शिक्षा थी तो उन्होंने अपने जीवन से दयालुता करुणा की शिक्षा दी और उनके मृत्यु के 600 वर्ष के बाद यानी आज से एक हजार चार सौ वर्ष पूर्व हजरत मोहम्मद साहब का आगमन इस धरती पर हुआ और हजरत मोहम्मद साहब को कुरान शरीफ नाजिल हुई तेईस वर्षों में कुरान शरीफ खुदा का फरिश्ता आता उनको देता तो वो तो पढ़े लिखे थे नहीं एक दो लोग थे उनके पास उनसे कहते कि देखो खुदा से पैगाम आया इसे नोट कर लो तो वो भेड़ की सूखी खालों पर या जो खजूर के पेड़ होते हैं उनके जो पत्ते होते हैं सूखे पत्ते उन पर वो लिख ली जाती थी और 23 वर्षों तक उन पत्तों पर या भेड़ की सूखी खालों पर लिखी गई और वो 23 वर्ष के बाद जब इकट्ठी हुई तो कुरान शरीफ बनी और उसकी जो पहली शिक्षा है वो है खुदा रब्बुल आलमीन है रब्बुल मुसलमिन नहीं है केवल मुसलमानों का रब नहीं वो तो आलमीन का रब है इस धरती का रब है सूरज चांद को बनाने वाला इस पृथ्वी को बनाने वाला सारे इंसानों को बनाने वाला एक खुदा है सारे दुनिया के इंसान एक खुदा के बंदे हैं एक अल्लाह ने सबको बनाया है सब भाई भाई हैं तो कुरान शरीफ का संदेश भाईचारे का है प्रेम का है मोहब्बत का है और कुरान शरीफ में बहुत अच्छी अच्छी तालीम है उसमें दिया है कि पांच बार नमाज पढ़ो दिन में एक दिन में हर दो घंटे ढाई घंटे के बाद ताकि तुमसे कोई ऐसी ख्याल तुम्हारे मन में ना आए जो ईश्वर की इच्छा के विरुद्ध हो तुम्हारे कोई एमाल ऐसे न हो जो ईश्वर की इच्छा के विरुद्ध हो इसलिए पांच बार तुम नमाज पढ़ो उसमें लिखा है कि यदि कोई गरीब भूखा हो तो पहले उसको रोटी खिलाओ तब तुम खुद रोटी खाओ रोजा नमाज और जकात इन तीन चीजों पे बहुत जोर दिया गया रोजा रखते हैं अभी शुरू होने जा रहे हैं अप्रैल में और अप्रैल के एंड में और मई भर चलेंगे एक महीने के रोजे होते हैं और इसमें सवेरे सूरज निकलने के पहले कुछ ले लेते हैं या सूरज छिपने के बाद दिन भर एक बूंद पानी भी नहीं लेते एक कतरा रोटी का नहीं खाते चाहे कितनी भूख लगी हो चाहे कितनी प्यास लगी हो इतना कड़ा इम्तहान होता है ताकि उनकी आत्मा शुद्ध हो पवित्र हो और खुदा की राह पर चले परमात्मा की राह पर चले तो ये इस्लाम की तालीम है मृत्यु के नौ सौ बरस के बाद इस धरती पर गुरु नानक देव जी का आगमन होता है और उन्होंने 500 वर्ष पूर्व उन्होंने कहा कि अब्बल अल्लाह नूर उपाया कुदरत के सब बंदे और एक नूर थे सब जग उपजा कौन भले कौन मंदे एक ये परमात्मा से एक नूर थे सारा जग उत्पन्न हुआ है एक परमात्मा से सारा जग उत्पन्न हुआ है किसी को भला बुरा मत कहो और नानक नाम चढ़ती कला कब जब तेरे भाने सरबत तदा भला ये तेरे हृदय में संपूर्ण मानव जाति की भलाई की भावना हो तो नानक का नाम तुझे ईश्वर की ओर ले जाने का मार्ग है ये तेरे मन में सबकी भलाई हो सारे संसार के प्रत्येक प्राणी की जब तू भलाई करेगा तब नानक का नाम तुझे ईश्वर की ओर ले जाएगा नानक की मृत्यु के 300 सौ बरस के बाद 
यानी आज से दो सौ वर्ष पूर्व इस धरती पर ईरान देश में बाहुल्ला का आगमन होता है और बाहुल्ला के आने के पहले बाब आए उनकी घोषणा करने के लिए कि एक बहुत बड़े अवतार इस धरती पर प्रकट होने वाले हैं बाहुल्ला और उनकी सूचना देने आए उनके बीस हजार अनुयायियों को ईरान देश में जी तेजी मार दिया गया कत्लेआम कर दिया गया उनको साढ़े सात सौ सैनिकों ने ऑर्डर दिया राजा ने नसीरुद्दीन शाह ने कि साढ़े सात सौ सैनिकों को ऑर्डर दिया एक साथ तरवीज के चौराहे पर खड़े करके इस बाप को मार दो क्योंकि घोषणा करने आए थे बाउल्ला की बाउल्ला जब आए हाँ, हाँ। आए तो 40 साल उन्हें जेल में रखा गया उन्हें घसीटा गया तेहरान की सड़कों पर दोनों हाथों में रस्ते बांध दिए जाते थे और घोड़े वाला उनको घसीटता था रस्ते से घसीटता था उनकी कमर छिल जाती थी बहुत ज्यादा घाव उसमें हुए और लोग पत्थर फेंकते थे धूल फेंकते थे और उन पर कंकड़ी मारती थी चार देशों में देश निकाला हुआ डंजिन में डाल दिया गया जिसमें राजा के महल का गंदा पानी आता था बदबूदार झींगुर मच्छर छिपकली रेप्टाइल्स सर्प उसमें होते थे और बेताशा बदबू और उसमें जंजीर गले में भारी भारी लोहे की जंजीरें डाल दी गई पैरों में जंजीरें डाल दी गई और वहीं पर डंजिन में ही दिव्य ज्ञान उन्हें प्राप्त होता है परमात्मा से तब उन्होंने कहा कि हे प्राणी मेरा प्रथम परामर्श यह है कि तू एक शुद्ध दयालु और ईश्वरीय प्रकाश से प्रकाशित हृदय धारण कर ताकि इस पृथ्वी का अनंत साम्राज्य तेरा हो दूसरी बात उन्होंने कही हे प्राणी एक कर दे हृदय अपने उनके ईद में और होली में सब गले मिलते हैं तो बाउल्ला ने कहा कि नहीं भैया ये गले मिलने से काम नहीं चलेगा हृदय मिलने से काम चलेगा और हृदय तब मिलेंगे जब पवित्र होंगे तो पवित्र हृदय धारण करो और हृदय को एक करो एक कर दे हृदय ये अपने सेवकों के हे प्रभु अनुज महान उद्देश्य उन पर कर प्रकट मेरे भी वो माई गॉड माई गॉड यूनाइट द हार्ट ऑफ दाई सर्वेंट्स आई रिवील टू देम द ग्रेट पर्पज मे दे फॉलो दाई कमांडमेंट एंड अबाइड इन दाई लॉ हेल्प दम ओ गॉड इन देयर एंड एवर एंड ग्रांड दम स्ट्रेंथ टू सर्व दी ओ गॉड लिव दम नॉट टू दम सेल्फ बट गाइड देर स्टेप्स बाई द लाइट टू दाई नॉलेज एंड चेयर दर आर्ट बाई दाई लव वेरीली दावत देर हेल्पर एंड देयर लॉड तो उन्होंने कहा कि हृदय की एकता हो हृदय में पवित्रता हो और एकता हो उनका संसार में जितने परिवार हैं सब परिवारों में हृदय की एकता हो जाए सब सदस्यों में दादा दादी माता पिता भाई बहन पति पत्नी बड़े भाई बहन छोटे भाई बहन सब में हृदय पवित्र हो और परिवार में एकता हो जाए तो घर में स्वर्ग आ जाएगा घर में आनंद की वर्षा होगी और यदि मन मुटाव है कोई भी मन में फांस है तो घर में जीना मुश्किल हो जाएगा घर में लोग जिंदा तो रहेंगे लेकिन शिशक शिशक के जिंदा रहेंगे हर वक्त मरने की कामना करेंगे वो जीवन जीना क्या है वो दुखदायी जीवन हो जाता है तो इसलिए हृदय पवित्र हो एक हो जाए तो यही संदेश इन्होंने दिया तो राम की मर्यादा कृष्ण का न्याय बुद्ध की समता ईसु मसी की करुणा मोहम्मद का भाईचारा नानक का त्याग और बाहुल्ला के हृदय की एकता ये सारे गुण परमात्मा ने एक परमात्मा ने भेजे हैं द बेसिक पर्पज ऑफ ऑल द रिलीजन इज टू सेफ गार्ड द इंटरेस्ट एंड प्रमोट द यूनिटी ऑफ द ह्यूमन रेस एंड टू फर्स्टर द स्पिरिट ऑफ लव एंड फेलोशिप अमक्स मैन 
ये जितने भी दिव्य ज्ञान आए हैं ये एक दिन में नहीं आए ये प्रोग्रेसिवली रिवील किया एक परमात्मा ने प्रोग्रेसिव रिवोल्यूशन मीन्स रिलीजियस ट्रुथ इज रिवील्ड बाई गॉड प्रोग्रेसिवली एंड साइक्लिकली ओवर ए टाइम थ्रू ए सीरीज ऑफ डिवाइन टीचर्स एंड द टीचिंग्स आर टेलर्ड टू सूट द नीड्स ऑफ डिफरेंट एजेस एंड प्लेसेज ऑफ देयर अपियरेंस युग युग की आवश्यकता के अनुसार ये दिव्य ज्ञान परमात्मा ने युग युग में भेजे हैं और विभिन्न स्थानों पर भेजे हैं जहाँ उसकी सबसे ज़्यादा जरूरत थी वो ट्रांसलेट हुए और सारे संसार में फैल गए तीसरी बात जो बाउल्ला ने कही वो ये है ऑल द रिवील्ड बुक्स ऑफ गॉड आर अनरिंग एंड कलेक्टेड विजम इनमें कोई त्रुटि नहीं है सारे संसार के सारे विद्वान मिल जाए और गीता में और कुरान में और बाइबल में और गुरु ग्रंथ साहब में और त्रिपटक में और किताब एकदस में और किताब एजाविस्ता में कोई कॉमा फुल स्टॉप लगाना चाहें कोई कमी निकालना चाहें कोई चेंज करना चाहें तो नहीं कर सकते क्योंकि अवतारों की वाणी नहीं है ये तो परमात्मा की वाणी है ये होली बुक्स हैं पवित्र पुस्तकें हैं इनमें कोई त्रुट नहीं है और एक परमात्मा से आई है ऑल द रिवील्ड बुक्स ऑफ गॉड आर अनरिंग एंड कलेक्टेड विजम इनमें कोई त्रुटि नहीं है और परमात्मा ने सारी बुद्धिमत्ता एकत्रित करके उन किताबों में भर दी है हमारे कल्याण के लिए हमें बुद्धिमान बनाने के लिए सारी बुद्धिमत्ता की बातें उसमें भर दी हैं तो ऑल द रिवील्ड बुक्स ऑफ गॉड आर अनरिंग एंड कलेक्टेड विजम देट आर सेंट बाई वन गॉड एक ईश्वर ने भेजी है All the books have been sent by one God, as required from age to age, to open the mental locks of mankind and to cure the maladies of the age. बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद और मैं दीपाली गौतम जी को बहुत बहुत बधाई देना चाहता हूँ कि उन्होंने ये कॉन्कॉर्ड के आयोजन के द्वारा हमारे एक चौबीस टीमें विभिन्न देशों से और देश के विभिन्न राज्यों से आपने यहाँ आमंत्रित की हर टीम में 20-20 बच्चे हैं तो चौबीस टीमें आई हैं तो ये बहुत बड़ा एक कार्यक्रम है बहुत बहुत बधाइयाँ और हमारे मुख्य अतिथि जी को भी बहुत बहुत बधाइयाँ Thank you so much, sir. Your words are like pearls of wisdom for us. Next, we are going to witness the cultural diversity of our country, being showcased by our students along with the mothers of CMS Station Road family. This item very rightly propagates the ethos of CMS philosophy: "Vasudeva Kutumbakam, Earth is but one country." So here we have a fusion. wherein we have four states maharashtra gujarat bengal and punjab celebrating the uniqueness and vibrant colors of their state and a special mention of the bengal dance performers who are our very lovely mothers of station road family we present before you our next item anekta mein ekta please give a round of applause audience
ਕੁੜੀ ਦਾ ਪਿੰਡ ਸੁਣੀ ਦਾ ਤਾਰਾ ਤੇਰੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਨੇ ਜਿੱਤ ਹੀ ਜਾਣਾ ਯਾਰਾ ਕਦੀ ਨਾ ਹਾਰਾ that was indeed a beautiful piece of work by the students and a very beautiful very talented and a versatile mothers the bengali dance performers that was truly a dola dola performance i request you all once more and the louder one Thank you so much. I would next like to call the lady who's been a firm foundation through all the storms in our life, a sturdy hand to hold on to in times of stress and strife. None other than the president and managing director of City Montessori School, Professor Geeta Gandhi Kingdon. I request ma'am to address the audience and bless the students. parents i don't want to bore you with a long speech i just want to appreciate the efforts of these amazing students just the last item the energy the vivacity i don't know the joy the color the music everything was just beautiful and it was so wholesome it also had a good message they had fun but they also had a important message and the message was national integration unity in diversity 
and you know my father was earlier talking just now about the war in the ukraine we know the world is beset with problems like the ukrainian war russia ukrainian war and also the specter of ecological disaster looms large we all know climate change is affecting us badly and yet nations are not really able to come together and solve their problems and i think that here is the relevance of this point to today today is all about sport this event concord is all about sport and i think the world can learn a lot from sport what happens in the world of sport gives us a clue about how we can solve problems like climate change and like you know this resurgence of nationalisms that is causing uh, the bloody conflict between russia and ukraine which is having repercussions for all of us throughout the world with the energy crisis the price rises and the instability in the world how is it that sport teaches us how to solve those problems well today is i don't know whether it is by happenstance or whether it is by design that jo, that the great principal of this campus mrs gopa uh, dipali gautam has chosen that the date of the opening inaugural of concord happens to be the fifa final football world cup final in qatar today and it also happens to be the opening of this great footballing event so i don't know as i said whether it's by design or it's just by chance that it so happens but you see the world cup football is a very good example of how different nations of the world all those teams are fiercely loyal to their own countries and yet they have agreed on a set of rules with which sport can happen with those rules they can come together and they can have a camaraderie they can have a healthy competition they can come together and they can experience unity in diversity and that's a great example of what needs to happen in the world at a political level at a military level and even when it comes to solving the problem of climate change so students who are participating congratulations for your participation in this uh, great event sport teaches us so many things most of all i think it teaches us resilience in sport you don't always win you often lose and when you lose you learn not to give up on life and to become discouraged you learn to take it on the chin and still get up the next time and fight again another day perhaps to win so sport teaches you a lot of lessons for life and i'm so glad that this great campus of cms cms station road campus is not blessed with a large you know infrastructure in terms of space for for sport and yet this campus has chosen uh, a sporting uh, you know uh, theme to hang its international event on and i hope you have a wonderful so it also shows that you know like despite adversity despite privations how to move forward in life and one thing i want to just share with you parents as i is just occurred to me to share with you is this that uh, you know this campus of cms the station road campus of cms was the very first campus of city montessori school it was the city montessori school when it started there was nothing else that this campus was the city montessori school and its standard of education its reputation then helped to uh, you know start other campuses and today we have 21 campuses the other thing about this great campus is that it has had legendary principals they are well known throughout the country thirdly the alumni of this campus are in great places all over the world just to give one example in fact that example is relevant today it is relevant to the uh, russo ukrainian war as well prakash gupta who is an alumnus of this campus he is a ifs officer indian foreign services officer and he is um, he is very senior he has accompanied mr s jay shankar to the united nations in new york 
and he flanked Mr. S. J. Shankar in the recent, uh, you know, Security Council meeting in which Mr. S. J. Shankar was speaking with India's stance on the Russo-Ukrainian uh, war. Um, so Prakash Gupta has been India's first secretary to the United Nations in New York with India's permanent resident mission in New York. And he has been the uh, deputy ambassador of India to Indonesia, and he has been the consul general of India in Shanghai, in China, and so on and so forth. And there are many, many others. You know, there's an IRS officer, Hassan Ahmad, who's a, a, uh, an uh, alumnus of CMS Station Road campus. And there are so many others. There's Ch Chitendra Verma. He's a, I, another IRS officer. He's, again, an alumnus of this campus. There are many, many, many alumni of this campus that are doing great things. I've only mentioned, you know, one or two uh, here. But uh, suffice it to say that this campus is making children great. They're, making, they're bringing out in them nobility, the latent talents that are inherent in all of us, the mine that is rich in gems of inestimable value that is within each one of us, that is within each child. The effort of this campus is to bring out those potentialities that are latent in human nature and, uh, you know, to bring them forth and to let the world see the glories that are hidden, the capacities, the gems that are hidden in a human being. And uh, to make these uh, people who, when they grow up, they are decision takers in the world and they take decisions that solve problems in the world, not just for their own uh, aggrandizement or their own, um, you know, enrichment, but that they serve the communities with sincerity and with great, great capacity. So I'd just like to congratulate Mrs. Dibali Gautam and her wonderful staff. I know she has amazing staff. I know that. She's the first one to tell me that I'm nothing without my staff. So I'd just like to pay a tribute to the staff of this great campus and to the students here as well. Thank you, parents. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much, ma'am, for that earnest address of yours. Yes, truly, CMS Station Road Campus. This is where the saga of City Montessori School began. It is time now to honor the ladies who are always more than willing to be a part of the programs. I'm talking about the Bengal dance performers, the very super talented and our versatile mothers. Time to honor them now. I invite Geeta ma'am. Anekta me ekta, unity in diversity. The true spirit of Mother India and belief of CMS as well. You know what, irrespective of the ethnicity or the economic background of the students, the management, CMS group all together has always been nurturing, nurturing the students with great dedication, love and contributing towards a better India in times to come. Yes, and they are there for the group picture, capturing moment, probably framing them as well. It 
requesting Bharti Gandhi ma'am also to join. Thank you so much, ma'am, for doing the honoring. Thank you so much, mothers. You may take your seat. I would now request our respected founder director, ma'am, Dr. Bharti Gandhi, who sparks the environment with the positivity and zeal to kindly bless us. आप सबको प्रणाम करते हैं आपके बच्चे महान हैं क्यों महान हैं क्योंकि आप महान हैं जैसा पेड़ होता है ना उसका फल भी जो अच्छा पेड़ होता है उसका फल मीठा और रसीला होता है तो आप सब महान माता पिता के ये मीठे और रसदार फल हैं जिनको की माताओं ने और पिताओं ने जो प्रथम गुरु माता दूसरे गुरु जी पिता और तीसरे तो हम गुरु घंटाल हैं ही हैं तो जैसा आप बच्चे को अच्छा बना के भेज देते हैं तेरा तुझको अर्पण क्या लागे मेरा मैं आज के प्रोग्राम के लिए इतने महान पेरेंट्स को उनके बच्चों को आपको पता है सिटी मॉन्सरी स्कूल में एक भी बच्चा ऐसा नहीं बचता है जो कि स्टेज पर ना आए उन सब बच्चों को उनके टीचर्स को और सबसे ऊपर उनकी प्रधान टीचर को ऑनरेबल प्रिंसिपल साहिबा को ये भी स्टेशन रोड की ही स्टूडेंट हैं एलुमनाई है वहीं की और वहीं की प्रिंसिपल हैं मैं उनके लिए एक शेर अर्ज करना चाहती हूं आपको मालूम है ना वो शेर सुनिए नजर नजर में उतरना कमाल नहीं नजर नजर में उतरना कमाल नहीं नफस नफस में उतरना कमाल होता है बुलंदियों पर पहुंचना कमाल नहीं बुलंदियों पर ठहरना कमाल होता है ये तिरसठ साल पुराना स्कूल कि नौजवान प्रिंसिपल को मैं सलाम करती हूं प्रणाम करती हूं वंदना करती हूं जय जगत Thank you so much, ma'am, for being an icon to many, a true blessing in our lives.
and not missing on this opportunity and making the most of it, I would request our chief guest, Honorable Mr. Vipin Kumar Sharma Ji, Director of Academics, RPS International School, Gurugram, to kindly share his enriching views and thoughts. A very good evening to all of you. Good evening, Lucknow. I am very much overwhelmed with the emotions, with the delectation. I am very much elated to be the chief guest of this great event. Let me tell you, let me transport you to a bit of the history as to how I transported to this city today. Actually, it was a long visit, prolonged visit, and uh, we thought of coming to this institution long ago. Means uh, we are also running a chain of schools, a chain of colleges. And it was long ago in the year 2012 Otherwise, let me tell you, I have been listening to the name of this great institution much before that. But it was in the year 2012 when our Honorable Boss stated that Lucknow has a chain of schools, hai, City Montessori Schools, karke, Guinness Book of World Records has a name and we have to go there and we have to do so many उतने बच्चे उतने स्टूडेंट्स जो हैं हमारे भी एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशंस का हिस्सा होने चाहिए तो इट वाज देन इन द ईयर 2015 वी वर अबाउट टू कम हियर एंड इट वाज डिसाइडेड बट वी कुडंट मेक इट क्वाइट अनफॉर्चूनेटली इट वाज आवर बैड लक एट दैट टाइम and today, when our principal of Gurgaon campus, she wrote a mail to the Honorable Director with a request that we are willing to come here with the intention to exchange some pieces of knowledge as to how we have been imparting knowledge, as to how you have been imparting knowledge. So, the consent was granted by the Honorable Director, sir. So, it was really, I mean, uh, fortunate enough for us. And today, we were all about to come here, our Honorable CEO, sir, our respected principal, ma'am, of Guru Gram branch and I. But again, we had some program and they couldn't come. And yesterday night, quite late, I came uh, back from Jaipur, quite tired and uh, I also had the idea of coming tomorrow, I mean on Monday, as they are coming on Monday. <coughs> but now, I have the realization, in case I hadn't come today, I would have missed this grand function. This grand function. I want to tell you, it will be a lot of fun for you. We thought that इस स्कूल का जो नाम है वो गिनीज बुक ऑफ वर्ल्ड रिकॉर्ड्स में कैसे है और इस सेम सवाल हमारी प्रिंसिपल मैडम ने भी ऑनरेबल डायरेक्टर सर से पूछा तो डायरेक्टर सर ने जैसा मुझे प्रिंसिपल मैम ने बताया कि डायरेक्टर सर ने कहा डॉक्टर गांधी ने कहा कि एस यू आर कमिंग टू विटनेस द इवेंट टुमारो and as you are going to be a part of this celebration tomorrow, you will get the idea as to how we are here, as to how we have achieved this high, these heights in the field of imparting quality education. And after attending this program, I have got the realization as to how this institution, this chain of schools, 
deserves to be there in the Guinness Book of World Records. <coughs> when the director is there, so humble, so grounded. When the gentle lady is there, I am talking about our founder director, madam. When the management is meeting the principals with the gesture like this, then I have the realization as to why this institution deserves to be there in Guinness Book of World Records. Means, as I listen to our respected director, sir, talking about Sri Bhagavad Gita, so Lord Krishna says in Sri uh, Bhagavad Gita, Na me partes tu kastavyam trishu lokeshu kinchana nan vaptama vaptamam vrata aveche karmani implies hey arjuna in the entire three world <coughs> there is nothing which i can't do there is nothing attainable which i haven't attained yet i continue to work yet i continue to work hey arjun tino loko me aisa koi bhi karya nahi hai jo main nahi kar sakta aisa koi bhi karya nahi hai jo kiya jaane yogya hai kintu maine na kiya ho kintu main phir bhi lagatar kaam kar sakta hu and when i saw our young director sir in his 80s i think 80s <coughs> working so actively <coughs> then i had the realization as to why this institution shouldn't have the rapport of having its name in the guinness book of world records yes a respected principal ma'am and before this program let me tell you means as a means the idea of the very idea of coming to this great city and to, and to this great institution was to have that exchange of knowledge so she was asking me what is the usp of your institutions so madam at that time i felt like stating a very good a very solid connect with the parents on my behalf it would have merely been a statement but after witnessing your program i had the realization after witnessing the performance of the mothers on two different dances i had the realization that this institution after having this emotional bonding <coughs> and connect with the parents really deserves to be in the guinness book of world records taken from the beginning means when i witnessed that mun i must congratulate all the teachers all the staffers the kind of ease comfort and above all confidence the students exhibited that was really matchless that was really unparalleled <coughs> i have witnessed so many amuens in so many institutions but i may not be mincing the words when i say when i assert that this was the best mun i have ever witnessed really i'm speaking from the bottom of my heart and thereafter that performance of uh, the children <coughs> i'm sorry for my throat actually it's giving me trouble so all religions prayer all religions prayers presented by the students that is really speaking volumes of infusing real ethics real sacraments and real moral values of indian culture in the students really great i was overwhelmed after witnessing these fantastic performances and thereafter that dance exhibiting unity in diversity mile sur mera tumhara fantastic all the students all the teachers and all the parents because 
parents of course means they are our partners so without your cooperation these things are never possible so all of you deserve heartfelt congratulations and uh, that performance on aerobics that uh, besides being again a mesmerizing one and at the same time giving a message of fitness to the participants of this concord 2022 wo jo performance thi jo aapko jo footballers hain jinke liye ye event concord 2022 hai uske liye fitness ka ek message bhi de rahi thi to yahan pe players kitne hain all the players are sitting there i should like to see their hands raise your hands yes see agle do teen din bachcho aapke hain you have to play with this with that indomitable spirit that you are the best ones you are the best ones and uh, some team has to win some team has to lose and you take this lesson from here today that there are no losers there are no losers there are all winners and all lessons right so <coughs> winners of course they need to be appreciated and those who just don't win they need to introspect all right and you come and you participate with the idea that in the times to come somebody amongst you how to be the next messi the next maradona the next ronaldo who knows can anybody tell did those great players knew that they would earn this much name and fame so why can't you be the next one why can't the team of india constituting the players amongst you be the world winner in the times to come right so you play with that spirit and uh, again i must say that i am not being i may not be mincing the words with a statement when i recite this urdu couplet bachcho aapke liye hai ke dhyan se suniyega naye darasal ye jo couplet hai mere ko mere ek chacha hain unhone sunaya to he is a renowned advocate to us tak gaye obama unke junior the to unse jab president of india ne pucha unki meeting hui to unse pucha ke doc sahab aap how could you make it to unhone kaha tha bachcho ye aapke liye hai ke naye halat lane ko naye answer nahi aate answer elements naye halat lane ko naye answer nahi aate yahi mitti ubharti hai yahi zarre sawarte hain तो क्या पता आप में से कोई कल का रोनाल्डो यहां बैठा हो कोई मैसी यहां बैठा हो कोई मराडोला यहां बैठा हो सो यू प्ले विद दैट इनडॉमिटेबल स्पिरिट विद द थिंकिंग यस द डे इज ऑल आर्स एंड विद दिस आई कंक्लूड विद द प्रेयर टू दैट ऑल माइटी टू कीप ब्लैसिंग सीएमएस फैमिली to keep blessing this wonderful couple so that they may keep rendering their valuable services to the noble cause of education in the times to come in the years to come with this i conclude thank you thank you very much jai hind jai jagat jai jagat thank you thank you very much sir this is for you just a small token from our actually we are habitual of long and uh, uh, yes for a second only means uh, you please give all a, a round of applause for principal ma'am for this wonderful event today thank you ma'am thank you very much
Thank you so much, sir, for your valuable words. We are indeed privileged and we acknowledge your presence, sir. Sir came all over to witness and to see how CMS, a Guinness World Record holder, has expanded from five students to over, you know, chain of branches. It has so many branches all together. So came to see this expansion that CMS has made as a whole. Okay. Hold your nerves and don't leave your seats as a very exciting and vibrant performance is expected amidst this cold breeze. Over to Adi to introduce the last item. Parents play the most important role in almost all stages of our life. Here is an energetic musical performance by our little ones that aims to lead to a state of religious ecstasy, to a spiritual union with God. Apne maabab ka to dil na dukha, dil na dukha.
संभाला तुझको किस कदर प्यार से माँ बाप ने पाला तुझको This was just wow, and this needs to be the loudest one. अपने माँ बाप का तू दिल ना दुखा. Loudest one. Come on, audience. And with this, we come to the end of the inaugural program of Concord 2022. revered chief guest honorable founders dignitaries principals international and national team leaders 
team members all together, respected teachers, parents, and our dear students. You all have been a wonderful audience. I request you all stand for national anthem. Janakana mana adhinayaka jayahe Narata bhagya vidhata Punjab Sindh Gujarat Maratha Dravira Uttara Vanga Vindya Himachala Yamuna Ganga Uchala Jaladhita Ranga Tava Shubha Name Jage Tava Shubha Aashish Maange Gahe Tava Jaya Gaga Janagana Mangala Dayak Jaya He Bharat Bhagya Vidhata Jaya He Jaya He Jaya He Jaya 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 He Have a good night and Jai Jagat everyone.